Is America ready for Big Brother spying with their spying eyes and their listening devices? Soon the Bill of Rights will be abolished and the idle rich will oppress the poor and make all of us slaves of the machines of new technology. The war on drugs will never end and the face is a new enemy as Uncle Scam calls it terrorism. I'm your host Bruce Pelletier and you're watching The Bad Americans. Today on my panel we have Brian Brickner. Brickman, I'm sorry. Brickner, you got it. Brickner, right. okay. Yeah. Bail. Bail? Like jail bail? No, <laughs> bail. B A A L. Bail the Destroyer. All right, Bail the Destroyer. We have again John Springer. Bad American. Klingon. What is your name, rank, and serial number? Riak Yon Tok, son of Willard, from the house of Grog. Pretty little human, you lucky I'm never this subdued. Well, we have plenty of sedation material later for you. And we have uh, Matthew Bauer, also known as the Great Mephibius. How are you doing? And your name again, sir? King Neutron. King Neutron. Right. Some of our panel members didn't show up today, so I just kind of had to pick and choose who I have. Uh, our topics today are, are going to be hard-hitting, focus issues on the free the weed situation. Free the weed. Free the weed, definitely. Now, there's no smoking, there's no foul language, no loose women, no glass bottles in city parks, no drinking, and soon our government's laws will face our, a country of the land of the free. They call this the land of the free, I don't think so. What do you nah, say, Brian? Hey, land of the free. Uh, not, no. not the man. Land of the free? It's like we got so many laws nowadays. It's like land of the free. We're supposed to be able to do this, this, and this, but yet we have laws that kind of don't tell us not to do it. I don't like it. Right, now I got busted for having a bottle in the park. They want me to pay $50 fine. I'll go to court. I do my thing. I say, Your Honor, I wasn't aware of the... I was Were you drinking the alcohol in the park? No, no, no. alcohol in the park. This I was know. a snap. You should have been snapple. drinking blood wine, human. Yes. <laughs> you got a $50 fine for drinking Snapple in the park. I, I was drinking a, a, a non-alcoholic beverage. And they come up on me, they tell my friends at my picnic on Labor Day, oh, you've got to write you a ticket. Our sergeant says we've got to do this. So I'm like, hey, I'll take the ticket. That's leave harassment. My, leave my hey. friends alone. And you know what? An hour later, two different police officers come by, take our beer out of our truck, and clean us out and take all our supplies. So and they we have to leave home. Hmm. They no, that them? was illegal search and seizure. You know they what? violated a Fourth Amendment right. But you know what? We have to subdue this because if I don't, they're giving me a hundred and fifty dollar ticket. Yeah. Try having a member of the Obsidian Order Ask rip our... your spine out, you modern sensey out beer, and talk to me about this pitiful little thing you had. Oh, I hate when that happens. I got, I got a question for uh, yeah, yeah. here. Yeah. Mathebius, do you believe that Homeland Security will become a military command post? And would you agree that Tom Ridge, Secretary of Homeland Security, would like to see martial law and only to create a 10 p.m. curfew.